Okay, I think we're recording. So happy Saturday. It's Amber Garofalo, the Amber G team and Cross Country Mortgage having my cup of coffee here. Um, I just wanted to quickly uh, do an educational video for a lot of people out there looking in this competitive market. Um, competitive market where we see some crazy prices going on houses, um, but the rates are overwhelmingly low right now. So I wanted to share some insight on that just so that people understood um, why it's still an amazing opportunity to buy a home, even if you're having to pay a little bit more for it in this market. The reality of it is, is we still have a housing shortage here in the Twin Cities market, as well as um, rental rates are going up about double the national average. So we're probably not going to get through this appreciative market here very, very, very soon, um, unless there's some drastic changes. So I'm going to share my screen with you. Hopefully this works um, technology wise. Um, so what we're looking at today is um, the interest rates um, from a year ago. So this is going back a year. Um, we look at when COVID first started happening and what was going on in the markets. It was pretty erratic. We had literally uh, days where our lock desk wouldn't lock alone because sometimes there was a big swing happening in one day. So um, to let that kind of settle out, um, but there's been a gradual improvement in interest rates. So this is improving interest rates, meaning rates are going lower. We've had you know, some ebbs and flows, that's normal, um, but rates are pretty much at the lowest levels that they have been at um, ever. Um, so I'm sure you have family that, um, you know, talks about having a 19% interest rate or something crazy like that. I mean, that's that's really gonna change how much home somebody can qualify for just with that variable right there. So looking at some numbers and samples, I was just playing around with some things for clients this morning um, and wanted to, oh no, I closed that. Oh no, um, wanted to prep a conventional purchase loan, uh, somebody putting 3% down. So. A lot of first time home buyers are looking at that level, um, buying $400,000 home, putting 3% down. Total monthly payment right now will come out to be about $2,250. This is making some assumptions for taxes and insurance, so there's, there's some variation there. Mortgage insurance will vary based on your credit score. So um, total of $2,250 right now for uh, the $400,000 price point, putting 3% down or $12,000. So, pretty low payment when you think about financing that much money for this cheap. So, <laughs> um, and then I wanted to flip that to a 4% uh, interest rate. So just kind of uh, looking back on that chart, we were, you know, in the fours just a year ago. So keep that in mind. Um, it's not like it's 10 years ago or your parents' story from 50 years ago. Um, so if you were still putting 3% down on the same house, but the rates were at 4%, your payment would be 2520 um, per month. So I didn't do the math here ahead of this video, which was um, not good, but it's about $270 per month difference just in last year versus buying a house right now. That is a big spread. That's the power of interest rates. Um, so in a lot of cases, our clients are getting asked to... Um, you know, beef up their offers and they're making them to have them accepted. And um, that's what happens when supply is low and demand is high. Um, but let's just say that same client, same house, same taxes, same insurance went up about $25,000 in their offer because they were competing against other clients. Um, we have to be careful with appraisals, of course. So that's the disclosure here, um, disclaimer, um, the home has to appraise if you're trying to utilize max financing or we have to have backup strategies in place. Um, but total monthly payment there is $23.58. So going up in price, but still at the 2.75% rate. Disclaimer on the rate, you can have a lower rate, you can have a higher rate, credit score, loan to value, all sorts of things kind of will play into what rate you are offered. So um, I hope that this is helpful, but basically going up $25,000 in house price sounds crazy, um, but really what you're looking at is a pretty minimal um difference in the monthly payment and just going back to our original one here of oh, technical 2251 or if you go up twenty five thousand dollars in price you're at 2358 so going up 100 bucks maybe to have the home that works you know is going to be a good fit for your family for years to come um 
But if you were purchasing 400 at 4% last year, you would even be higher than that in monthly payments. So it's kind of like get over sometimes this, um, you know, the price. I know it seems excessive, but um, really we have the power of interest rates to help um, help you out, help your family out with that payment. So it's not going to be a drastic change for you, hopefully. Um, and uh, just wanted to share that because I know it is super competitive out there. People are having to um, write some, you know, uh, different offers and that makes people nervous. So I just wanted to break down the math. So hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions, you can always call my team um, at 651-300-9411. We are uh, strategically helping our clients with things like this during this competitive market. So, um, you know, it takes a really, a really good, really good, really tight team between your real estate agent and lending partner um, to succeed in this market. So um, if we can help you, if we can provide value to you in your home search and or helping you get your offer accepted, reach out to us today. Our website is www.theambergteam.com. So my last name is Garofalo. Nobody can spell that. The Amber G Team. Thanks and have a great rest of your day.